trying to stop the dishwasher from going because it was starting to make quite a lot of noise. Um, good morning everyone, hope you're all okay. Um, I can see that we've got quite a few of you already. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, it's a beautiful day here, so I was really lucky yesterday. Um, I had TV shows all day and I was meant to be on until nine o'clock last night and I completely sold out, so it all, it all, um, it all got cancelled. So I've done an emergency run down to my parents who had my nephews for the night um, so that I can come and see them quickly before we're all at home again. So um, the gods aligned last night, the stars aligned, and I managed to see people. So I am at my parents' house. As you can see, change of scenery. No moonwalking dad today though. He's taken the dog out for me. Um, good morning to all of you. I hope you are doing okay. Um, right, so I'm gonna very quickly, this is what we're making today by the way beaded bows, um, beaded bow brooches. Uh, you've got a kit on the website and I'll show you it and then I'm going to talk to you about the bead club because I know that's what you really want to talk about. Um, so with the bows, um, this is actually a larger size. We are saying that the kits will make 12 because we've put in enough beads but you'll make smaller bows than this one um, and enough brooches. I just think it's adorable. Um, I was going to put it on my coat but actually with the jumper that I've got on today I thought it looked really cute, just a really nice little accessory. Um, I'm very quickly going to show you the website so that you can go and have a little look-sees um, before we get going. So, on the website, uh, for those of you who know, uh, totallybeads.co.uk, up to the top of the categories, down to Facebook tutorials, and there you'll have the memory wire bangles from, was that yesterday? I was on telly all day yesterday. Oh, Kitty did a Q&A, that's why. Um, memory wire bangles, hem tight necklaces, creation station, today is the beaded bows. It should be $14.99, but down to $9.99. Um, you're gonna get 12 strands of glass beads, so you'll get three of your blue, three of your pink, three of your purple, and three of your amber. Uh, 12 brooch backs, and I'll show you all of those sizes, so you can make various different sizes. And then you'll also get your 0.4 millimeter wire as well. And that's all you need. Um, absolutely everything in the pack. So um, if you're gonna make them the size of the brooch that I have on, I would say you'd be able to get six and then maybe a mixed color one. Um, or of course you can go for smaller ones, which I'm gonna do today, save a little bit of time, um, and you'll be able to get 12 out of the pack. Okay, bead club. Who's excited? I am. Um, Morning, Sarah. We have rain in the northeast. Oh, boo. Uh, greeting, Sarah. Good morning. Oh, daylight saving time's kicked in this weekend. So back to 5 a.m. beading in the States. Oh, see, we, our clocks went back last week, week before last. Can't remember which one. Um, Kitty's here as well. Good morning. Just in time, Mrs. Robinson, because uh, we're just going to start talking about the bee club. So an email went out on Friday night uh, letting you all know about A, our new website, and B, our new bead club subscription. So it's a membership service. Um, so all you need to do is head over to beadclub.co.uk. Uh, many of you will have got, in fact, I know hundreds of you, uh, got the email on Friday night because you signed up uh, to register your interest. But if you didn't and you missed out and you haven't seen it yet, head over to beadclub.co.uk. Um, I'm sure Kitty will put up the link for you. Um, so what we're doing, Kitty used to run a bead club in the warehouse when we were up and running and obviously now we were kind of hoping we'd be able to do bead clubs by the end of the year, not going to happen. So it's going to be next year. So I think we have definitely made the right decision. Um, Kitty used to charge £5 every Thursday and the ladies and gentlemen would come in, sit around the table, have a little mat, a cup of tea, a few biscuits and they would learn a project. So they would make... Um, necklaces, bracelets, rings, whatever it may be, um, and have extra help with um, tuition on projects that you get stuck on. So what we've done, and because we have so many of you worldwide now, perfect timing, Maria, good morning from Malta, um, because we have so many of you worldwide, we've decided to take it online. So it is a membership service, so that will sign you up to four bead clubs a month, some months there's five, but that balances out with like December where there's only gonna be three. So um, that is gonna sign you up to four classes a month and you get to choose whether you do a Thursday night, which is between seven and 9 p.m. or a Friday morning, which is between nine 
and 11. Now they are the same classes, there's no point signing up to both. Um, it will be the same class, it's just that you choose whether you want the evening slot or the morning. Uh, once you have signed up, um, you will obviously automatically go into those. So we're also gonna have private Facebook groups, you get extra members discounts, you'll get um, previews on sneak, uh, sneak launches and sneak peeks. Sometimes you'll get exclusivity on deals as well. Um, so it's gonna be a really fantastic club. Uh, and like I said, it's uh, beadclub.co.uk. So this isn't coming from Totally Beads as such. We've got an entirely new website. Uh, so it is um, all done on Zoom. Oh, we are making a video about Zoom and we'll send it to members at the start of the week. Um, yes, so Zoom, don't be scared. Um, a lot of you didn't know about Facebook Lives before March and before we started doing these, so don't worry, we are gonna guide you through everything. As a member, you will get extra help, extra tuition, just get in touch with us, even if you are thinking about it, get in touch and we will answer any of your questions. So Zoom um, has really come into its own in lockdown. Um, it's used a lot for team meetings and plannings and things like that. I've been using it with my family, doing um, little quizzes all during the first lockdown, I'm guessing that's gonna start again. Uh, so what happens with Zoom is that all of your little faces will pop up on our screen um, and you can talk to us. Now you can hide your camera if you don't want your face to be on camera, that's absolutely fine or you can have it pointed down to your bead map, just like we do. So then if you get stuck with something, you can just have a little wave um, and point to all the bits and pieces that you are stuck on. So with Zoom, it is a lot more interactive than Facebook. Uh, so I just talk at you for an hour here, don't I? Um, and answer some of your questions. With Zoom, it's very interactive. We're gonna open up the classes half an hour early as well. So um, we're hoping that just like our normal bee club that we would have in the warehouse, you will get to know each other, you'll get to know your little Thursday night or your Friday morning group, um, and we'll guide each other along. If you do have any questions, then let us know. Um, so far, we've got the November classes up, so you know exactly what you're signing up to. If you, oh, Rachel, thank you. She says, Zoom is easy, honest. Perfect, that's what we need to know, that little reassurance for people who are a bit worried about it. Um, did you send us the link via email for Zoom Live? Um, the email went for your membership, so for your Bead Club membership. If you didn't get that, then pop on over to the website and you can have a little look. Zoom will go, um, Kitty saying about the video, I'm assuming that will go on video, um, that video will go on email and then go out to all the members. Now, if you don't want to become a member and you don't want to attend all of the classes, you can sign up to them individually. However, members get first priority. So if that class fills up with all of the membership spaces, you as a non-member won't be able to book onto it. I hope that makes sense. But if you have any other questions, then let me know. Um, so, um, morning Sarah and Mama Millsop, says Natalie. She's looking after the nephews upstairs. <laughs> Tried to keep them quiet. Doesn't really help because I gave them chocolate for breakfast. But hey, I'm their auntie, so I'm allowed. Um, it's very exciting. Bead Club has come at the right time with lockdown all starting again. Absolutely. We didn't know that this was gonna happen. Obviously, none of us did. Um, we kind of thought that uh, you know we would be able to um, ease off on some of the interaction and be able to concentrate on some more of the videos um, and launches, um, but not yet. So don't worry, we are not gonna leave you. Now, Facebook Lives are gonna continue Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And actually on some of those days you get double. Kitty also does, go and follow Kitty Robinson Designs. She also does some evening classes as well. Um, not classes, evening videos. She does a good old little chit chat about what she's been getting onto in the week. Um, so there is lots of interaction. If you are on your own, I'm really hoping that these videos have helped you and do continue to attend them. Have a little look at some of the classes. Head on over to Facebook um, and go on to our groups totally handmade by totally beads um, keep that interaction stay sane keep on beading we're here for you so please don't worry um, we really will do all we can to uh, keep your crafting um, if I can't watch a zoom bead club class uh, with work how will I get it on catch up so as a member for your Thursday night or your Friday morning you will be added into a private Facebook group so that's a private page just for the members once the video is finished, we'll do a little bit of editing, uh, cut out some of the gump from the beginning and maybe a coffee break in between, and then that will be uploaded onto that page. So you can then watch it as much as possible. There were lots of questions yesterday about 
level of ease. What if I'm a beginner? What if I'm more advanced? Just like when you attend a workshop, what Kitty and I do, and this is where um, this is where our experience over the years uh, with tu uh, you know being tutors and being designers uh, comes into play because we are careful with the projects that we pick. So a lot of the time they are pattern repeat. So there's little bits that you can start, and then for those of you who are super quick and more advanced, you'll get lots more done. For some of you who are a little bit slower and you need that guidance, and it might be the first thing you've ever beaded, we will always make sure that you, uh, you know, you have some of that pattern, you have that knowledge, and then you can go onto Facebook afterwards, keep on watching the video back and back and back, and then take as long as you want to make it. So it really doesn't matter. So what we do is we pick projects that you know we we're, we're careful with what projects we pick so that we can guide more advanced and there's ways that you can adapt them and you can put your funky old twist on it once you have mastered the pattern. And then for those of you who are newer, we know that you're gonna still finish. For example, chain mail. When I do chain mail classes, I'll aim to get, I don't know, last time I did a workshop, we had eight different patterns that I taught. So for those who weren't too quick, they had a minimum of a couple of inches of every single pattern. For some of you who were totally amazeballs, you had entire bracelets out of like three or four of the patterns. So everybody will gain from the classes. Um, Kitty's just putting it all up. The monthly membership's $23.99 a month, which will go up. So that is going to go up in the start of the new year at $31.99, I believe. Might be making that up, but I think that's right. Um, so uh, you're $23.99. If you sign up now, so this is between now and the end of the year, it will stay at $23.99 for the continuation of your membership. So forever, ever, ever. If obviously you don't sign up until the new year, it will be that higher price. Um, so what we are doing um, is getting a gauge as to how many people we can get into these classes. We are keeping them smaller uh, so that obviously you're not too daunted and we can still give you that basically one-to-one -one tuition as we would if we were walking around a table and having a look at you all. Uh, Joe, Zoom isn't scary. Oh, this is Anne replying. So Joe, don't be scared. I've missed your comment, but don't be scared. Uh, Zoom isn't scary. It's one of those things. It's easy once you're told how to do it. Absolutely. And we have, um, we'll do lots of little taster sessions. We'll do our little video tutorials. Hey, if you can bead, you can work Zoom. Don't worry about that. Uh, it will probably take me two hours to thread my needle. Anne, me too. Uh, we're going to open up the classes half an hour early. I'll tell you if we need to thread a needle. We'll start a couple of days in advance. <laughs> uh, do you pay by direct debit? Have a little look on the website. I'm sure there's lots of different payments. You can probably do PayPal, direct debit, all that kind of, all the all the normal jazz. Um, looking forward to it, trying, but not very good at technology. Don't worry, Joe. Like I said, if you can bead, pfft, you've got downloading an app and doing a video. No problemo. Um, okay, so... I think that's all the gump. I think we all know what we're doing now with B Club. Uh, so um, going forward, Facebook Lives, I'm going to be on every Sunday. Kitty is going to be doing Monday, Tuesday, and Sarah Payne uh, for the Wednesdays. So you get a really nice arrangement of lots of different classes uh, on your Facebook Lives. And then I will be doing, I think I've got one, one B Club a month. Kitty will be doing um, the others. And then as we grow and we add more classes, because the membership's going to fill up, because um, we know that already um, and then we get the extra um, extra people into the classes um, we will add more into it'll all become clear absolutely head on over to bigclub.co.uk and have a little look -see. Um, Lucy says I'm shy but I'm excited Lucy believe it or not I'm really shy as well I am um, I used to have panic attacks I used to suffer with anxiety um, and I have to say little groups like these, me doing my videos, seeing people, interacting with people, it all makes it a little bit easier. And you already know so many people from on here, you already know so many people on Facebook, and sometimes we just have to push ourselves a little bit out of our comfort zone to do something. I mean, look at you, a few months ago, you couldn't even bead, and you started on those USBs, so look at what you've achieved so far. Um, so don't be scared, you know us totally well. Um, if you have any concerns, anybody, send us a message, pop onto the Facebook groups, um, and I promise we will uh, guide you through as much as possible to alleviate some of those uh, worries. Um, Lucy, you'll be fine, I'm shy too. See, who would think that Kitty and I are shy? Um, I'm only confident in the Facebook Lives as I can't see any of you looking at me, absolutely. Um, Lucy, once I had to do, so um, as some of you know, we do Create and Craft TV as well. 
Um, these aren't too bad because I'm basically looking at myself on these or I'm looking at my hands. I, it was a bit daunting when I can see my face, but when I can see my hands, I'm okay. Um, with TV, you have obviously the presenter, you've got the floor manager, and now half of the cameras in the studios are robots. Um, so you only have one, sometimes two uh, cameramen. Four people looking at you. That's it. I forget how many people are actually watching the channel. And um, once we went to the NEC and they asked me to do um, a live show. And I was like, oh, you know, it can't be too bad. I do it. I've done it every week for 11 years on telly. It can't be that bad. Man, I completely choked because I had all these faces in front of me. It was petrifying. Um, but don't you worry, Lucy. We're all in the same boat. You never know. You never know what everyone else has got going on. So we'll be there for you. Don't you worry. Um, okay, so let's get beading, shall we? What we're really here for. Now, the sun's just gone in. It's gone really dark light up the kitchen a bit. Mum and Dad's setup is so fabulous. <laughs> um, I'm used to my tiny little study. Okay, so I'm going to turn you down. Let's have a little look at what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to take off my brooch. Um, here we go. So this is my brooch. It's a fabulous size. And like I said, if you're going to make them this size uh, from your kits, um, head on over to the website. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Um, if you're going to make them this size, you're going to get less out of your kit. Um, so we've got three different, three strands of beads in each colour. And I used uh, two full strands to make this one. So I've doubled up basically, uh, which means that you'll get six a little bit less um, if you make them larger. But hey, I wanted a big feature one. You could even make these teeny tiny and put them on little earring posts as well. So uh, this is my brooch. This is what we're going to make today, slightly smaller version. If you do these, like I said, this is the one that was on my jumper. You'll get slightly less out of it, but you're going to get your gorgeous pink beads. You're also going to get your amber. I have to make one of these because I've got like big black polar necks and brown chunky knits that I love wearing at this time of year. And this bow on there is going to look gorgeous. Um, so you're going to get your amber. That's very me. Uh, you're going to get your purple. That's very kitty as well as the blue. Uh, so uh, 12 brooch backs as well, varying different sizes. So you can make teeny tiny little ones or um, these larger ones are the ones that I have uh, backed onto my bow here at this size as well. Let's pop that in there so you can see what we're doing. Fab Christmas presents, says Dorothy. Um, I totally agree. And what you could even do, you can, if you're a card maker, crafter, make a little card, pop these on, make a little gift box, have it as a display ribbon. Um, it'll be really, really cute. Uh, you can also do some little droplets on them. I didn't want to because because it's wire, I want to limit the amount of knocks and bashes that this is going to take. Uh, so I kept it as a, this one. Good morning, Susan. She says, hi, Sarah and everyone. Bit late this morning. We'll have to catch up with the beginning later. Yeah, do, Susan, because we chatted for a good old 20 minutes about the bead club. Um, so go and have a little listen to all of that as well. Oh, Lucy says your mum has a lovely kitchen. Mother Dad's house is beautiful. Um, and I'm just looking out onto the little spinny that's in front of the, the house. So every now and again, I can see like the um, squirrels running up and down the fence. It's gorgeous. Okay, so. Sorry, I'm totally chit chatty today. Um, your wire. So 0.4 millimeter wire is what we're going to be using. Um, and then um, what color should we make today? Let's do, should we do blue? No, actually, do you know what? I'm going to make it for my sister. I'm going to see my sister in a bit. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a lockdown prezi. I'm going to do a, I'm sorry, I'm going to miss you for a month present. Okay, so let's, it's anything to put a smile on anyone's face at the moment, isn't it? Let's, let's get it right. Anything to put a smile on someone's face. Okay, so I'm going to go for a good old arm stretch of wire. Um, you can go less if you are making smaller bows um, and if you're going to be more comfortable. Can't make red, Jodie. I haven't got red in the kit. I've got blue, purple, amber and the pink one I've already done. So let's go purple. So I'm going to take these off. I'm going to use one strand first of all. 
take these off. Now these beads have a lovely facet to them. So when they're being worn, they don't quite shine like a crystal. Um, they are glass beads. Um, but the great thing is when you have glass beads like this is that you can you can kind of emulate crystal. Uh, you can kind of get that effect and a little bit of sparkle. Um, if you have extra special beads at home, then of course you can make these out of extra special beads. Um, but with mass makes like this, keeping that cost down, $9.99 to make 12 bracelets. I don't really think we can go wrong there, can we? Um, what size are the beads? These are all four millimeter. Um, but you can do it in any size, you really can. You could, you could even go larger if you wanted to. Okay, so my wire. I am gonna thread on three beads, first of all. So I'm gonna add on to my wire one, Two. Oh, I think I've got a little nodule on the end. One, two, three. And then down to the very middle. So this is my wire in half. I've got two of these lengths here. I'm going to bring the beads down to the middle, fold it in half like so. And then I'm going to take and separate my two beads. My strand that only has one bead on it now, because you can see I've moved that around. I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna go in the opposite direction through the same beads. So I am going to turn it upside down and I'm gonna go through the same two beads in the opposite direction. And keeping that individual one singular bead in the very middle, I'm now gonna pull this wire through. So I will have equal lengths on either side and I'm gonna pull this down. So I've got one bead and now I'm graduating out into two. Um, I'm sure someone just saw about Minnie Mouse. Uh, oh, red would be lovely for my wee granddaughter. She loves Minnie Mouse. If you've got like a Minnie Mouse t-shirt or jumper, how cute would it be to make the bow the matching size and then have it as like a little detachable brooch as well. That'd be super cute. Um, I also, when I was trying it on this morning, um, it looked really cute, like a little dicky bow. Um, I just thought that was adorable. I think it was quite a nice little add to, um, to just a really plain top. It just really lifts it. Um, would it work with pearls? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I've got two here. Now I'm gonna graduate up to three. So adding on one, two, three bringing those down. I've added them onto my right hand side of my wire. So I'm going to take my left hand side of the wire and I'm going to go down through them. So each time I'm just crossing over just like you would with like a right angle weave crossing through the beads like so. And then again pulling that through. Now if you don't have the strength in your little fingies then you can use your pliers as well. Now what you want to be careful of, because we are graduating our sizes, I just like to make sure that I'm um, bringing it down before it gets too too close. I always give that wire a little bit of a nudge outwards. Sorry, I know that one keeps on pinging up. Give it a little bit of a nudge outwards or sit the beads flush in place. Can you see that obviously because I'm graduating them, I want it to be sat in the very middle, my centre bead in the middle of the divot between the ones before. So I'm going to hold that in place and then I'm going to pull because if I just tighten it up, I am going to get one side that will be slightly tighter than the other. And then you want to make sure that you're pulling it tight enough that you don't have too much loose wire around the outside. It's not the end of the world, um, and you could even use a coloured wire for them as well if you wanted to. Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, but it will it will hide some of those, um, those fastenings. Um, Christine says, hi, I really love all your tutorials. At the moment, due to everything that's going on, I can't afford to join the Bee Club at the moment. Does that mean I won't have access to your tutorials and your videos anymore? No, Christine, it won't. We're not forgetting everyone. We know it's not in everyone's budget. What we did want to do was to be able to advance the tutorials. So for those, um, for those projects that Kitty and I really want to teach, but we definitely can't do it on an hour in Facebook. Um, some projects take two hours, some take five hours. Um, it's so 
it's so varied um so what we wanted to do was be able to advance that and obviously when we are committing that much time to it there does kind of have to be a monetary value on the back of it as well but for those of you who can't um adapt that budget we are going to continue to do the free facebook live tutorials it's just that it's not seven days a week um so it will be sunday through to wednesday will be your facebook tutorials so you will still be here all of those days at 10 in the morning uh, so don't you worry you will still get your fix uh, one two three four it's just to be able to put a commitment onto everything it's so hard isn't it and here kitty and i started these facebook lives at the beginning of lockdown and we just thought oh let's just let's just give everyone a bit of inspiration on how to use all those crafty stash in their cupboard and we'll do it for what was lockdown meant to be six weeks um and here we are like what six months march april may june july august september october november eight months later <laughs> still doing it oh boy um but it really has been phenomenal i do love seeing well, I can't say I'm, I'm seeing all your little faces. I can see all your little profile pictures every morning. <laughs> That's enough. Um, okay, so I've got up to four here. Let's go up to five. So each time on every row, I am just adding on an extra bead. One, two, three, four, and one more five. God, it really looks like it's gonna pour down with rain. All those weather reports I got from you all at the very beginning, looks like you've sent it to me. Um, it started off beautiful and sunny. Hope Dad doesn't get too wet walking the dog. <laughs> Do me a favour, walking the dog might come back super wet. Okay, let's go up to five. Now, on my largest, I went up to nine. So this pink bow here, uh, the largest is nine. Let's have a look at five. And then see if we can go down from there. So I'm trying not to pull or bend the wire too much. Um, but, you know, it's supple enough that it's moving through. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do six and then down. I want it just ever so slightly bigger. Uh, one, two, three, four. Fingers aren't working today. I had crystal art shows yesterday that were incredibly busy. Um, but my goodness me, it's an early start when you do a pick of the day. So yesterday I think I was up about four o'clock. Uh, I was on air by half past seven, did a double hour. Went back home, cleaned all the house. Um, did like four loads of washing, like ridiculous stuff. Even managed to uh, walk the dog got absolutely drenched, uh, so I had to come back and wash my hair as well. Um, and then back for another show, and then of course, when my other show was cancelled and then they announced that we were going uh, into lockdown at the end of the week, I just grabbed an opportunity to be able to come and see my family. So that was nice, but my fingers are sore, because then when I got here, I had to make my little bow. It was a long old day. Okay, so up to six, let's go. And now we're gonna graduate back down. So now we're going to go to five. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, I was a complete sieve head yesterday as well because I had the panic of just run home, get the dog, get the bags, get all my stuff, remember beads to make beaded bows. Blimmin' forgot my laptop, didn't I? Ten minutes down the road, I had to turn around. Um, but I was more than happy to not be on my own last night. Did anyone see the moon? The full moon was insane. A bit spooky for Halloween. So I was more than happy to come and have company and not be on my own on Halloween. <laughs> Especially because I live behind a cemetery. I was more than happy to come. Righty-o, I'm graduating back down. And I'm sorry I'm off camera doing it. Um, the wire keeps on bashing up onto the top. Uh, so, back down to five now. So again, I'm going to make sure that it's going to sit really beautifully in between the beads before. Um, I did have somebody comment a minute ago and said that they had made the brooches before and it didn't go too well. So let me know if I haven't covered any bits where you've gone wrong so far. 
Oh, Joe, I have plenty of beading time again now. I have to close my salon on Thursday. It's just awful, isn't it? And I know we have to do what is going to keep us safe, but man, I didn't think uh, I didn't think we would still be battling with it this far on in the year. But hey ho, with any luck, we'll get it gone this year, eh? Uh, get all of your customers in before lockdown if you can. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's now the panic, isn't it? Um, this week is going to be. Trying to get as much done as possible. <laughs> uh, oh, Paula says, yeah, I saw the full moon here in Aberdeenshire. Man, it was insane. It was absolutely enormous. Um, okay, so now down to four, as you can see. And we made some lovely petals with these. Um, we made some gorgeous little uh, brooch flowers not so long ago. And it's using exactly the same technique. So this kind of crisscross over of your wire... As you can see, now that I'm graduating down, it's not gonna give me a petal shape, but all the way up it is. Uh, question, if we only sign up for one class, will we be able to watch that one tutorial back if we only sign up for the full classes to be in that special Facebook group? Hope that makes sense. Yes, Wendy, it does, and yes, you will. Um, I think if you, if you sign up to one, I think you get the video sent to you, um, as opposed to um, it going into the group or you have access for the group for one week so you can almost use it like a taster session um i believe you get added to the oh the watch back is a member's perk only i'm afraid there you go it's the bonus for becoming a member is that limited unlimited um amount of education Ooh, spooky yes the moon was very bright last night kept me awake i was making a beaded dolphin at three until 5 a.m oh my goodness do pop up a picture on the on the facebook page if you haven't already i haven't been on there yet uh, yesterday or today uh, so i'll go and have a little look sees um but my goodness my, my my beaded dolphin when i did him i just loved him um it's amazing to watch it come together it really was so clever Great pattern to follow. Uh, to begin with, you think, what on earth am I doing? Is this right? This isn't going to look like a dolphin. Um, and then you just see it come together. It's super. Um, a bit like these. You're thinking, well, it doesn't look like a bow. Okay, now on the back side, I am going to finish on two beads. I don't want one. So uh, I've got one bead on the very front, two on the back. And when I fold this over, as if by magic, I have half of my bow like so. Now, I prefer having only two beads at the back. A, because it gives me a little bit more stability for where my brooch back is going to be. The one at the front gives me that lovely petite and elegant finish, like so. But I also like, can you see when I'm looking at it flat from the front, just like you would with a ribbon, those really beautiful posh ribbons uh, that we make bows out of for Christmas, like the little wire-backed ones. When you look at it, I can see that back row. Whereas if I do all of the complete um, and same beads, so I had one at the back, I don't get that extra layer, which gives me the dimensions. So there's my little top tip. Uh, keep your two beads at the back, not one. Uh, I'm in central Scotland and we've been in tier three for quite a few weeks now. Not sure what will be said next week. Oh, yeah, so you have different announcements to us, don't you? I have to say, I think Scotland are doing a pretty good job of it. But I don't, I don't avidly follow it all, I have to be honest. I find it depressing. I take note of the things that affect me and I just have to anchor down and get on with me. Um, so I used to look at all the statistics and keep an eye on it and find out what was going on and who was who and what was what. I can't. I can't can't keep track um okay so now we're going to go for two um i think i've probably got enough wire here to be able to finish the other side as well so we're going to start again so we're going to go for two on this side and come back through and this is the bonus when you're making a smaller one you'll actually have yeah <laughs> dorothy says me too i know you just got to do you haven't you just got to make sure you're doing all the right things and just do you. Okay, so my two at the back. I'm going to keep it at two so that we can keep that lovely finish. Two and two. And now we're going to go all the way back up again. Uh, so I did on three beads. Now I've only got one strand 
of my 12 strands of beads here. So I'm probably going to have to add in one more. So this will be a medium sized bow out of the sets. If you want to make a small bow, you'll get 12 out of it. Um, what you can do is just count up your beads first of all, decant your string of beads, count them up and work out exactly how many rows you will be able to do. And that's if you want to be kind of really frugal with your materials, you want to get the very, very most that you can out of it. Um, Mina says, Sarah, I just watch the necessary bits uh, as it got me in March and April time. Yeah, exactly. You just got to watch the, watch the necessary bits. Keep an eye on it all. Make sure you're doing all the right things. The rest of it. Because I think it's you can become a bit obsessive with things, can't you? And checking it all the time and... Oh, too much. You just got a little bit of self-care sometimes. One, two, three, four. And these videos are our self-care. Having a lovely little giggle. Uh, I completely understand as everyone's circumstances are different and that is why we're still continuing with free Facebook Lives on Wednesday. Just trying to take care of everyone as much as we can. That's it. Um, Kitty and I being able to commit that little bit more time we have to stop some of the Facebook Lives if we're going to do Bee Club. Something's got to give, so it is a couple of those days. But So um, Kitty does a Facebook Live on a Sunday evening. So it will be me on a Sunday morning on Totally Beads. It will be Kitty on a Sunday evening. I think it's normally 7 o'clock, isn't it, Kitty? She normally does her little weekly chit-chat uh, and catch-up of what's going on um, and what's to come. Uh, then on a Monday morning, it will be Kitty. Tuesday morning it will be Kitty. Um, I think a Monday night is Creation Station, isn't it, as well? So you've got another one in there. Um, and then a Wednesday is still coming. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so you're still going to have us all. Um, it's just that then a Thursday afternoon, uh, sorry, evening is B Club, Friday morning B Club, Saturday, day in bed. That's the plan. I mean, we've said we want to have more time with our family, but I just want to sleep. <laughs> That's all I'm going to be doing. A lovely little lion. Although, mind you, on Saturdays I very often have TV shows, so hey-ho. I'll get as much sleep as I can. Um, okay, so adding in these five. What did we go up to? We went up to six, didn't we? And again, just making sure you've got that even amount on either side, a little bit loose on this side, so I'm just going to pull it through <laughs> as if we get more time in bed, she says. I know, as if. <laughs> I won't even tell you, my nephews came into my room at like half, half past six this morning, I think it was, they woke up. I'm like, just, just half an hour more, please. <laughs> but, hey, I'm going to make the most of it because I won't be seeing them, so... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Precious time, isn't it? Makes you appreciate your family. Um, for those of you who don't have family that you can pop around and see either, I, to I totally understand how hard it is. And please do interact with us as much as you need. Um, we've got a fabulous uh, Facebook group. Um, now there are over... 2,000 on there. Oh, do you know what we need to do? Maker of the month. I'm going to announce that uh, tomorrow. Maker of the month. Um, head on over to our Facebook group is where I was going. Uh, totally Handmade by Totally Beads. Um, it's just a really fun page. There's no naughties and nasties. Um, it's so supportive. Um, it's everybody like-minded, sharing makes, asking for opinions, asking for advice. Um, it really is a fabulous group and I am so proud of the community that we have built up there. Um, if you do find yourself on your own feeling a bit down, you want that interaction, message us, put a post on the group, just reach out to somebody um, and do use us. Use us as your little, uh, your crafty crutch. 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 Lean on us. Do use us, because that is what we're there for. Okay, uh, five, down to five. Okay, I'm going to stop soon. Don't worry, I'm going to leave you all alone. Three, four, five. Um, 
This is our last graduating down now. Uh, my parents and brother and sisters are all in New Zealand. Well, Mina, haven't they done well in New Zealand? Goodness. I need to bring that lady over here. Um, I hope they have stayed safe. What an amazing place to live too. Dad's back looking a bit wet. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, the group is amazing, says Lucy. Nicest group on Facebook. Thank you, Lucy. That means so, so much. It really does. Um, the biggest one that I've got up here, I went to nine. I think it was late last night. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, all the way up to nine. Uh, so that's the biggest one that I made. Um, and I will show you that. So that took up two full strands of my three strands of pink beads um, so that is probably the biggest I'd go as well if you are using um, pearls then you could go a bit bigger um, I actually want to make a pearl one because I think it would look beautiful on a jumper um, but the thing is you don't want them too floppy so just think about how rigid you want it to be and think you know it's gonna get knocked a bit you kind of want it to be non-intrusive but visible enough, if that makes sense. Bit of a contradiction, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, down to four. One, two, three, four. Now this was one strand of beads, and I'm gonna have enough. So I'm gonna have enough to go up to six and down again. So these are the sizes that your 12 brooches would be if you wanted to do them, um, get the most out of all of it and do one bow per strand then this is the size that we're looking at. Um, I also think they'd be really cute on, you know, little makeup bags and such like, but I'm worried they wouldn't stand the test of time with the wire and that they might break. Um, but it would be a really gorgeous accessory. Uh, four, down to three. One, two, three. And as you can see, it really doesn't take too long. Now, I was gassing away to you all until 20 past. So what's this, like a 20 minute, half an hour make? Easy pieces. Stick the telly on, stick on a good series, Netflix or whatever, and this will get you through. Uh, although we can't see each other, we have so many friends. Hello, very wet dog. Um, yeah, absolutely. Make the most of the groups and make the most of um, like-minded people. Um, and of course, when we start doing our classes on Zoom, be able to see us so that's going to be a nice interactive uh, interactive way you hardly can see the wire on the pink one I've got the colored bundle from totally beads I can't remember the size um, so this this wire is 0.4 millimeter yeah because it's lighter you can hardly see it once I've made this one up I don't think you're gonna notice it too much either um, but um, you can always do different colours if you would like to as well. We do have lots of coloured wire on the website. So if you don't want to go for mass makes, you don't want to go for 12, pick some, I don't know, really lovely crystals, pick your brooch backs, um, and then you can pick your uh, preferred coloured wire as well. Uh, I know I'm predictable, but I think my customers would like these in Miracle Beads. Joe, of course. I wouldn't expect you to make them in anything else. Oh, look, I've missed one of my beads. Um, they really would look gorgeous in Miracle Beads. Um, and you could even graduate on sizes. You could, you know, have various different little effects as well. Um, okay, so the last beads here are the two. I'm just going to make sure I go through both of them. And then we're going to go through just the one. One on the other side. And then that brooch is finished. We just need to attach it onto our actual brooch back. Uh, is there a protective coating that you could use to make them more durable? I mean, you could use Jewelry Shield. Jewelry Shield is a bit old school, to be honest. I haven't used it for a very long time. You normally use it to coat your uh, findings to prevent them tarnishing. Um, it's like a little clear nail polish bottle. Jewelry Shield. You could use that which would prevent the wire from tarnishing, but it's not going to make it more durable. Uh, nothing really is going to do that. Okay, so here is my bow, and this is like the ta-da moment. 
folding it over and on itself. And because I've done those two beads at the back, I haven't got that individual bead. You can see from the front, you just get that little bit of added dimension. And then I'm gonna take one wire and I'm gonna pass it through. And sometimes this is a little bit of a trickier move, but there we go, straight through. Oh. Bringing that through. So this was uh, one strand of beads. I've got all of these left over. Um, and I used uh, just over, oh my goodness, a rainbow brooch. <gasps> that is going to look beautiful because you could do every single bit a different colour. I love that idea. Um, so I'm going to cross this one over. If I have space, I'm also going to cross this one through. Let's have a little look. No, I'm not going to get it through. Okay, so if you are limited on space on your bead, so I've already got uh, two passes of wire running through here. So what I want to do is connect these two bits together. And this is the front of my brooch. So this is going to be very visible. If you can't fit your wire through the holes, just go through, you know, like when we tie a half hitch knot um, with um, our thread, just go through the actual wire itself. And as I'm pulling this, I'm making sure I don't get any kinks in the wire. And on the back side, and this is why I love wire, because to be honest with you, there is no right or wrong. You do what you need to do for it to hold its shape, um, which I absolutely love about wire. Okay, so I'm just gonna pinch that in and that's gonna hold this one on here. And this top one, I'm also gonna cross through to the back. On the back, I'm exiting from the right-hand side of my two beads. We're gonna secure this in the middle. So on my other strand, I want it to cross over onto the other side. So I'm now gonna take this one. This is the one that crossed through my actual beads. And you can see, I'm just gonna go in between the two beads on the far side, okay? And then I'm gonna start pulling this through. And again, I don't want it to twist or kink. So I'm gonna pull a little bit and twist it a little bit. Pull a little bit and twist it a little bit. And that will hopefully prevent, da -da, just like so, any of that getting damaged. And then I'm just gonna pink in my wire ever so slightly. And there you've got your lovely bow. And now you just need to attach it onto your brooch rack. So I've got my wire on the far side coming out and I'm gonna make sure so that it's centralized, it's coming out between each one of those double beads, left and right, like so. And then we're gonna go through our brooch rack. Now, because this is a smaller one, <clears throat> it would fit on to my smaller brooch back. The smaller brooch back is just the little latches, like so. The bigger ones have the secure finish, and remember you're gonna get 12 of them in your set anyway, okay? Um, I'm gonna open it up so that I can work on it. <clears throat> and to secure this in place, I'm just gonna take my flat nose pliers, and I'm just gonna give it a tiny little pinch, like so. And then I'm going to give it a little twist. So holding it in place, just going to give these a little twist. Not too much, because remember, the more you over twist it, it's going to break. If it breaks at this point, we cry. Um, if it does, in all serious note, if it breaks at this point, um, then you can just reattach new wire. Okay, so don't be scared. When it comes to shaping them, I just take the arm of my flat nose plier or arm of any pliers and pop it in there. And that is gonna give me, look at the difference when it comes to shaping them. Um, or on the big ones, just pop your finger in there. And that's gonna give me a really cute little shape. And wire wrapping it on. So I've done my little twist on the back, like so. We're gonna go in, I'm very sorry if you can hear my tummy rumbling. I'm a bit hungry. Um, it might not pick it up, in which case I've just totally embarrassed myself, but I'm sorry if you can. I thought I might as well acknowledge it in case you can hear it. 
Um, and then we're going to wrap around the back. So I'm coming around the back a couple of times. I'm holding this on nice and flat. Don't worry about the shaping because we can reshape it afterwards as well. A couple of times, as many as you want to, over on the right hand side. And then we're going to cross over and do the same on the left. Like so. So you are centralising, stabilising the bow. And neatening it up by doing each side. Now, if you've got some felt, you can also cover and glue this little brooch back um, with a little bit of felt or something like that. You can take some extra wire, make it decorative. Uh, you can do all sorts to finish that off in a nicer, nicer neater way if you want to. Um, but for me, it does the job. I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to, um, I was about to say I'm not going to gift this one, but I was, wasn't I? Mm. I'll finish it nicer. If it were just for me, I wouldn't bother, but let's do it well. Okay, so I'm also going to come through just around the back and I'm going to go back through here as well. Not through the beads, but just through the holes. Because I can feel it's still got a little bit of wobble. Pull that nice and tight. You should have had chocolate for breakfast too. Natalie, you're right. I should have done. <laughs> I only bought it for the kids. Um, there we go. That'll do it nicely. And then I'm going to chop this off. Now, the back isn't the neatest thing I've ever made. But with these, they very often aren't. You just want them to be presentable from the front. And like I said, if you've got some coloured wire, you can wire wrap onto those. Make it look nice and pretty. Uh, you can cover it with a little bit of felt. There is the opening. And then once you've got that on, it's going to look so adorable. You can even put these onto hair bands and little hair clips and things like that as well. So this was my um, graduating up to nine beads. I used two of my three strands of pink beads that I was going to get. So you'll get... Um, Three, four. You would get six out of the kit, but some of those are going to be mixed colours. Uh, so I would say you'd get four uh, if you do the big, big ones. Uh, but still, four brooches for nine ninety nine is amazing value. If you want to do these ones, you're going to get twelve. So twelve of these um, out of your sets, and that's still going to look super cute. Um, I just think that on like a little jumper like that. How cute is that? I think it's lovely. Um, obviously, you can put it in your hair as well. Put it on some little hair grips um, and they'll be gorgeous. I'm going to pop this one back on because I just think it looked so cute. Where was I about there? A bit higher. I just think they look fabulous. And then you've got really lovely, reasonably quick make. Oh, in an hour. Chatted away for 20 minutes. So it's not bad at all. For any of you who have joined us later on in the video, do uh, have a little look and pop back and find out about Bead Club. Beadclub.co.uk. Uh, Kitty and I are launching our Bead Club next week. Next week? This week. Sunday. Next week. Um, love it. Gorgeous. Thank you all so much. Um, Janet says, I signed up. You need to make a fresh account for a bead club from your Totally Bead account. Yeah, totally different website. Uh, so you've got totallybeads.co.uk, which you may already be a member of, get all your newsletters. Head on over to beadclub.co.uk um, and you will find Kitty and I's faces on the front of it. So you're going to know you're in the right place um, and sign up to that website. Um, lots of exciting things to come. So we couldn't even put it all on one website. We needed a new one. Um, now you can see why it's so hard when Kitty and I sometimes like, oh, we've been working on loads of stuff and we can't tell you about it yet. It gets so frustrating. Now we can. Um, hair grips. If you want to put it on a hair grip, would you glue it on? Yeah, you could. Uh, or you could just wire wrap it on as well. Entirely up to you. Whatever works for you. Um, if it's going to be for a child, I would do both. Um, so that it lasts. So I would, a uh, bit of hot glue on the back, keep it in place and then wire wrap 
um, around the band itself. Uh, you could probably even go in and out of some of those beads just to catch on and latch it on, almost like you're sewing it on. Uh, beautiful Sarah, as usual, will search my bead stash uh, that I, what I can do, I can't wait. Uh, back to school tomorrow. See you soon. Um, take care. Um, I'm glad, obviously, you'll still be able to work. Stay safe. Uh, fabulous, Sarah. Thanks. Enjoy your Sunday with your family. Thank you so much. I'm going to go and squeeze my nephews till they pop. Because um, I've got a month worth to catch up on. Um, I'm sure they'll hate me for it, but it's okay. Um, so, love to you all. Stay safe wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Enjoy your Sunday. Um, I will see you. Are you with me tomorrow morning? Let me just check. Um, I did catch up with Kitty very quickly last night, um, and I can't remember what we were talking about it. Um, no, you've got Kitty in the morning. Kitty in the morning at 10 o'clock. Love to you all. Stay safe. I will see you. Oh, we're in November now, so I'm not going to see you until next Sunday. Um, take care, everyone. I will see you. It's going to be Sunday, Sarah, from now on. Um, see you all later. Take care. Thank you for joining, and I hope you like the bows. Take care. Bye.